Hey everyone, in this video we're going to look at a very interesting group. So we're going to start with a set X. So let capital X be a set. And then we're going to set G to be the power set of capital X. So the power set of a set is the set of all subsets. So the power set of X is all subsets of capital X. And now we're going to define a binary operation on G. So our binary operation here will be triangle and triangle is going to denote the symmetric difference. So symmetric difference. Recall uh, what is triangle. So given a set A and B and G we look at A symmetric difference B and this is the set of all elements that are in A but not B union with all the elements in B but not A so it's all of the elements that are in exactly one of A and B okay, but not in both and We've already shown that this is associative. In a previous video, um, there's a proof that triangle is associative. It's a very, very beautiful proof. So I encourage you to look at that if you're interested. So triangle is associative. So associativity is satisfied. Two, the empty set is a subset of X. So it's certainly in G. and it is the identity element. It is the identity element since given any element A in G if we look at the empty set symmetric difference A. Let's look at what that is. This will be the empty set, set minus A, union A, set minus the empty set. So this piece here is just the empty set. This piece here is just A. And when you union the empty set and A, you just get A. Likewise, if you do A symmetric difference empty set that's equal to a set minus the empty set union the empty set set minus a so everything in a but not in the empty set that's just a and then union empty set so you get a so the empty set is the identity element uh, in this group in this set that will be a group three the inverse of any element A, so the inverse of any element A, is A itself. So kind of an interesting group. Uh, every element is its own inverse. And this is since for all A in G, which is the power set of X, if we look at A triangle A, that's everything in A, set minus A, union, A, set minus A. So that's going to be the empty set, union with the empty set, which is the empty set. So G together with the symmetric difference is a group. Kind of an interesting group. It's an infinite group. Um, every element is its own um, inverse. Well, it's infinite if X is infinite, right? So if you have an infinite group, 
uh, then you look at all the subsets of x, then that's also, uh, if you have an infinite set, and you look at all the subsets of x, uh, that's also an infinite set. So you have an infinite group um, where every element is its own inverse. Kind of, kind of cool. That's it.